A church considers making God gender neutral. That's right, there's a whole movement, this gender neutral stuff. I need to think about becoming gender neutral myself. I mean, I want my own bathroom, and I want some extra rights, and I want people to give me some attention, okay? And I want to open up all the doors possible for romance <laughs> by being gender neutral. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'll make love to a genderless pillow for all I care. <laughs> Uh, am I that desperate for sex? <laughs> the Episcopal Church formed a committee Wednesday to provide a, quote, quote, provide a pathway toward revisiting the Book of Common Prayer to include gender-neutral language. Church leaders called for immediate revisions to correct the, quote, overwhelming use of masculine language throughout the book, arguing that the language is now a hindrance to spiritual inclusion, according to the Episcopal Church website. As long as men and God are in the same category, our work toward equity will not be, will not just be incomplete. I honestly think it won't matter in some ways, a professor of the Hebrew Bible told the Washington Post. Where are we going with this? The Episcopal News Service shared further concerns from church leaders that the current language has created a, quote, barrier to evangelizing young people. Maybe this is a, a move to get young people into the church. I mean... I, I'm assuming attendance is dwindling, even in America, where there's still, you know, I don't know, you know, compared to Europe, uh, our church attendance here is overwhelmingly high. I mean, you go to England and it's like a 2% of the population still goes to church, and in America it's something like 38% of people go to church. Most of them are in one particular section of the country, but still, that's quite a bit. Um, we're quite far from completely secularizing, as uh, England has, has pretty much done. And uh, so they're seeing a drop in attendance, and it's going to move that way because we're becoming a more secular society. It's just going to happen. So uh, they're making desperate bids to get people into the church. I mean, I did a story about a, a rapping pastor last week, right? Just trying to get the youth involved by rapping, <laughs> okay? And uh, now they're trying to, they're changing the language of these uh, old documents too to, you know, sort of make them more palatable to the youth. Um, by the way, my language today is just, I'm on point. This is what happens when you're not hungover. Uh, and so, hey, what's your take on it, Jonesy? Well, well, first of all, my take on it is it's quite masculine. Uh, and Western religions tend to be, you look at Judaism, um, Islam, and Christianity. These are male-dominant religions, obviously. And um, I, think, uh, I think the men have been in charge long enough and we see the sort of downward spiral that our, our cultures have, <laughs> have, uh, have gone down when you have male dominant uh, institutions and ideologies. And I think it's time to, uh, if not give the women a chance, uh, gender neutral, I'm okay with that too, <laughs> all right? You know, I'm a little intimidated by the, the Bible language, you know, and I'm a little tired of my Lord and he and him and Lord and the Father. It's just a little, it's a little, it's a little belittling to the rest of us, you know? I mean, are you trying to scare the shit out of us? I mean, what kind of approach is that? Uh, I think that in the beginning of the, <laughs> the beginning of Christianity, maybe that's what the document was used for intimidating language about the Lord and you better know your place or the Lord, the Lord is watching you the Father's got his eye on you so get your ass in line bro or the Lord will judge you okay but I think we're moving beyond this now I don't need a Lord judging me okay uh, for, for my own personal salvation um, I, I, I do pray you know this is something you might find weird but I'll share this with you because this is a weird news story uh, and a weird news show. And God damn it, I'm the host and I'll share what I want. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I, I pray to my own God in my own mind uh, and I call her, I call her Ma, M-A, Ma. I don't know, that's, a, that's what Italians call. We call our Ma, I call my Ma, Ma. But I call, I call, uh, I, I look to some... I, I pray to some like mother goddess, earth, spirit of some sort, a, a, a mindedness that uh, is behind all of life. And I find, I find it in my mind, it's a her, and I call her Ma. And I thank Ma for certain things, and I ask Ma for certain things. And sometimes those things happen in my life. Um, I have a good friend suggest that I ask the universe for things, but I felt weird asking the universe for things, so I just, I needed, I needed like a personality behind it. So I created Ma in my mind. 
and she's and she's all encompassing and she's all loving and she loves all of you as well so yeah I like the feminine in other words this is where I'm going with this and I'm tired of the male dominant bullshit all right um, I think the men have been in charge long enough and I think we need to change the scenery all right and if it means going back and changing some of this biblical Lord father shit language then I'm okay with it <laughs> to make it gender neutral all right whatever you want to do hey let's experiment okay that's the good thing about uh, where we're at these days is we can just uh, we, we're you know the buttons to the culture are at our control and we can sort of tweak them a little bit and see what happens you know and uh, I'm all for it and and if you support Weird AF News uh, you're probably all for it too my fellow weirdos hey look at we're all in this together right we're just all trying to find the answers here none of us know what's going on you know we're trying you know it's hard to live without closure but we gotta do it okay but we're here for each other that's what's important and by the way uh, speaking of here for each other, I want to uh, thank you all who called in and sent me emails. And please, you can do that anytime uh, in the weekends here. Don't hesitate. Just just blast out an email to me. Blast out a DM. Blast out a phone call. Leave me a message. 